Kunbold, your father's ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single dame will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! <laughs> Let's not break our bones without some alcohol to dull the coming pain. Alewife, for these stout Saxons, around on me. Well, let's, uh... uh that's kind of you. Unexpected, like. <laughs> Cheers to this day, one who knows the true worth of silver. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written-about man in history. Alfgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. He told Humboldt to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Trouble. They call this pasty whelper lord. Look at him. Stop the zombie. Leave him be. What a bloody Dane! Oh, I have been struck down, pruned within an inch of my life. But I will survive. I must. Continue as you would, Eivor. And if I should expire, avenge me. Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Buttlestone will be remembered for years to come! Alka, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me! The son of a beloved elderman, 
Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? Look! Boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right, he's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows.